Okay, um, carrying on with the threats to access control. Uh, emanations. Um, now, this, uh, to some of you may sound old-fashioned. To some of you, it may sound completely bizarre. Uh, but, um, the, uh, well, computer equipment in, in general, um, and, and particularly in the old days, monitors, uh, do radiate uh, certain types of, of uh, radio frequency uh, waves, um, and these frequencies can be picked up. The modulation of them indicates uh, what's going on in the computer in, in a lot of different ways. In the old days, uh, when we had cathode ray tubes for uh, monitors, um, you, of course, had uh, this big uh, electron gun uh, that was firing a, a beam of electrons, uh, painting the surface of the monitor, the, the phosphor screen, uh, and, and lighting up um, that material in order to uh, create the, uh, the image, the letters, uh, the image that was on a TV, the letters that you saw on a uh, computer screen. And so the, uh, those cathode ray tube monitors um, were uh, excellent uh, radio frequency transmitters and um, because they were tuned to a very standard frequency um, people were able to uh, very easily figure out uh, what it was that uh, you were seeing on the screen you just uh, simply um, figured out well you didn't even have to figure it out everybody knew uh, the uh, frequency, uh, how many uh, frames per second, how many uh, times the screen was, was painted in a second, um, and how frequently you would drop down, you know, one line in the grid of, of what was being painted on the screen. Um, that, was, uh, uh, that was easy to do. Um, now, uh, these days, of course, we've got digital screens and they don't do the same thing they don't um they aren't painted in the same way the uh standards aren't as standardized so you don't have the same uh, ease of being able to tell um you know exactly what is appearing on the screen uh and and therefore figuring out uh exactly and, and displaying exactly um, what somebody is, is looking at on a computer screen. Um, that uh, is, is different with the digital uh, displays. You have to figure out you know, how many pixels, uh, the way the pixels are operated, and, and that sort of thing. But you still have uh, radio frequency emanations from the activity of those digital screens. But you also have radio frequency emanations from the computers themselves. And in, in particular, uh, these days, with regard to uh, cryptography, the um, use of power and the uh, you know, various types of activities that go on on uh, cryptographic hardware modules is, you know, it betrays a lot of information about what is being done in cryptographic uh, form. And so... This tool that is used um, for the purpose of protecting uh, our, uh, well, access control and, and everything else. You know, cryptography is, is being used in, in all kinds of different ways in, in security, uh, backing up all kinds of tools that we, we rely on for security. And, and it is um, in operation uh, radiating a lot of uh, information about what it's actually doing. And so people can um, pick that up, uh, 
figure out what is going on. So um, uh, that is also a form of uh, emanation attack, and, and we'll talk about that specifically uh, when we get into cryptography. Uh, so there's there's emanations, but there's also you know just plain old eavesdropping, you know, connecting onto the line. Uh, we don't have to connect onto the line anymore. Nobody's using lines anymore. Everybody is using Wi-Fi. Uh, everybody is using radio uh, networking, and and so all kinds of things that are happening with uh, uh, our networks are subject to eavesdropping and uh you know that's a that's a passive attack that does not uh need to change uh any of the the traffic that is actually being used and and people don't actually need to um uh mount an attack they can just sit there and listen so you know eavesdropping uh great way to uh gain information and and you know nobody even knows you're doing it um Masquerading, of course, uh, you know, we've uh, talked about uh, spoofing and uh, that sort of thing. Um, and then there's um, unauthorized uh, and very often targeted uh, data mining that people are um, looking at the uh, our databases um, and and we are very often making our databases and access to the deba- databases available, and yet the um, uh, you know it, somebody you know there are certain things that we want to make available that we do make available, but um, there are certain things that should not be made available. But if people are allowed to uh, you know perform. Uh, targeted re- queries, uh, specially formed queries, and, uh, you know, an unlimited numbers of, of these queries, there are all kinds of things that the, uh, the attackers can find out uh, about our, uh, our systems. Uh, and then there's, I mean, there's good old-fashioned shoulder surfing. Uh, you know, just people looking over the shoulder. And, and seeing what's available, what, what people are doing.